Welcome into the Convocation Center. My name is Abby Carnavale and I'm the host of the Bobcat Sports Showcase. Alongside me is Nathan Wiseman, Ohio football reporter, and we're here to talk about a little bit what happened last week and what's upcoming with Ohio football. So last week, Ohio football traveled to the Vandals and they won 45 to 28. What were your big takeaways after watching the matchup? Well, yeah, I, mean, I was expecting this to be a ground and pound game. Give the ball to AJ Lett and let him go to town. But really, their passing game was so efficient, they were able to give AJ some breaks. Darius Vick was given the nod a few days before the game, and he did an excellent job starting the game off right. Had a certain poise and confidence to him. Ohio was even up 21 to 0 at one point. Things were going so well for them. Vic, he did a really nice job of just spreading the wealth out to all of his wide receivers, Brendan Cope, Jordan Reed, and Keith Heisman. They all had four catches. Him and J.D. Sprague, who showed a little bit of uh, time in the quarterback, they both did a really nice job of uh, spreading the wealth. And defensively for the Cats, Quinton Poling had a fantastic game, 12 tackles, 10 solo, forced a fumble, had a sack. He was even named the Mac East Defensive Player of the Week. Now, Nathan, Ohio football is scheduled to take on Marshall this Saturday at 7 p.m. in the annual Battle of the Bell. These two teams used to be MAC conference rivals, but have since moved into different conferences. They still hold true to their tradition, so can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, this game is big every year. The hype is always there. OU and Marshall University are only 80 miles away, so these teams know each other pretty well. Um, like you mentioned, Marshall, they voted for the Conference USA in 2005, so there was a bit of hiatus uh, between these two teams for a few years, but then they faced off in the Little Caesars Bowl in 2009, and I think these guys really truly miss playing each other, like I said, because of the proximity of these teams, and so they drew up a six-year contract and they've been playing ever since. OU leads the all-time series 32 and 20 and six ties. But the last time that Marshall won at Penn Stadium was in 2004, so over 10 years ago. So I think fresh off of a Big Ten victory over Purdue, Marshall's going to be itching to uh, knock off OU here in Athens on Saturday. Now there have been a lot of questions surrounding Marshall and the recently graduated quarterback Rakeem Cato. What did they do against Purdue last weekend that really propelled them to the win and fill in those holes? Yeah, that's right. A lot of big shoes to fill with Rakeem Cato not there. You know, Cato, he's been there for the last four years. He started since 2011. He's one of the best Marshall quarterbacks of all time, so it's going to be really hard to replace him. Michael Birdsong is going to be the guy to step into that new role. But really, what stands out to me about Marshall is their defense. Tyquan Lane. That guy had 17 tackles last week against Purdue, but what really stood out was he had two pick sixes, one from the first play of the game and one near the end of the game to secure their 40-31 victory. So uh, that's going to be a guy to watch out for on Saturday against Ohio. So in last year's matchup, the Bobcats traveled to Huntington and were handled pretty easily in their 44-14 loss down these. And I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you expect to see on Saturday? Well, yeah, I think Ohio is going to be out for revenge for sure. I mean, that was a pretty devastating loss last year. I'm sure it's engraved in their minds. So they're going to be out to prove how tough they are against this Marshall team on Saturday. Oh, you had won three straight games in this rivalry before last year, so you know they're looking to get that bell back here in Athens. But I think one advantage that OU has this year is that they played last Thursday and Marshall just played on Sunday. So OU's had a few more days to prepare for this team, not only mentally, but physically. So it's going to be interesting how to see how they can use that to their advantage. One thing defensively, Ohio is going to have to find an answer for Johnson, that's for sure. He's a 6'1", 244-pound back. He's a Maxwell Award watch list player. They didn't utilize him a lot last week against Purdue, but I think they're definitely going to use him against Ohio. He had a late game touchdown. It's just really hard to tackle that big of a guy. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if they can handle him. Okay, Nathan, I think that's all we have to discuss here. But just as a reminder for everybody at home, the game is at 7 p.m. on Saturday in Peden Stadium. Both teams will match up against each other in this year's version of the Battle of the Bell. And if you can't make it to the game, you can follow along with us on Twitter at WOEB Sports or Bobcat Showcase for all of your in-game updates. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Abby Carnavale alongside Ohio football reporter Nathan Wiseman. This is just a reminder to fight for the green and white.